Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're exploring an exciting development in artificial intelligence, AI-generated podcasts. This technology allows AI to autonomously create podcast-style audio content. Recently, Meta has released an open implementation of Google's viral Generate a Podcast feature from Notebook LM. Meta's version, called Notebook Llama, leverages its own Llama models for much of the processing. Like Google's Notebook LM, Notebook Llama can take text files uploaded to it and generate conversational podcast-style summaries. It creates back-and-forth dialogue, providing a more dynamic way to digest written content. Meta's open approach makes this tool more accessible inviting developers and users to experiment with AI-driven podcast creation while also competing with Google's established system. Notebook Llama's architecture consists of four specialized stages, each utilizing specific AI models for optimal results. Let me break this down. First, the pre-processing stage uses Llama 3.21b instruct to clean and prepare the document removing any encoding artifacts while preserving the original content. Second, the transcript generation phase employs the more powerful LAMA 3.170b instruct model to transform the clean text into a podcast-style transcript. This larger model was chosen specifically for its superior creative capabilities in generating conversational content. Third, the dramatic enhancement stage utilizes LAMA 3.1-8b instruct to add natural dialogue elements and improve the overall flow of the conversation. Finally, the audio generation phase combines two text-to-speech models, Parler TT's Mini V1 and Bark slash Suno, to create the final podcast audio with natural sounding voices. In our analysis of Notebook La Lama's current output, there are notable differences in quality compared to Google's Notebook LM. The audio samples from Notebook Elama exhibit more pronounced synthetic characteristics with distinctly mechanical voice qualities. A particular challenge lies in the conversation flow, where the voices occasionally overlap in unnatural patterns. Listen to this sample. Episode of Ostai, Insights, where we explore the latest developments in the field of artificial intelligence. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of knowledge, distillation, so let's get started. Joining me on this journey is my co-host who's new to the topic, and I'll be guiding them through the ins and outs of new to the topic. I'll be guiding them through the ins and outs of knowledge, distill it started. Uh, sounds exciting. I've heard of knowledge distillation, but I'm not entirely sure what it's all about. Can you give me a brief overview? Okay. Good. Of course, knowledge distillation is a technique that enables the transfer of knowledge from a large, complex model like Kehtoset or Jamini to a smaller, more efficient model like Alamichi or Mistral. This process allows the smaller model to learn from the teacher model's output, enabling it to acquire similar capabilities. Think of it like a master chef teaching their apprentice the art of the artist. Let's think of it with like a master chef teaching the organization of the artist doesn't need to start from scratch. Um, and that sounds interesting. So it's like a teacher relationship where the teacher model guides the student model to learn from its output. Um, can you explain this process in more detail? The distillation process involves several stages, including knowledge elicitation, knowledge storage, knowledge inference, and knowledge application. The teacher model shares its knowledge with the student model, which then learns to emulate the teacher's output behavior. Uh, that makes sense, I think. So it's like the teacher model is saying. As you can hear, while the technology shows promise, there's a clear distinction in natural speech quality when compared to other solutions like Notebook LM. This is particularly noticeable in the robotic undertones and the irregular conversation timing. However, the Meta research team acknowledges these limitations and points to a clear path forward. They suggest that implementing more sophisticated text-to-speech models, such as those used in Notebook LM, could significantly enhance the output quality. 
This underscores the potential for improvement as the technology continues to develop. The researchers at Meta are already working on improvements. Better text-to-speech models are coming, which means better quality podcasts are just around the corner. What do you think about AI-generated podcasts? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more tech updates.